this is Crafty Girls, and today we are going to review and overview these really cool markers. These markers are called Bic Market by Bic. And they have a soft grip. There is 12 fine point assorted markers, and they are made in the USA. I am going to open up the Bic markers and we can begin this review. I have just opened up all the Bic markers and I have grabbed some paper ready to just draw and test these really cool markers out. And since many kids at my school have these markers, I'm going to put gold duct tape on the rims of them. So I have now covered all of their bottoms in gold duct tape. You don't have to do that, but I think I am. And I know um, this other girl in my class, she's on YouTube with me. She's on this channel. She's featured on this channel a lot. She did the doggy talking dog video. So you should check that out. She um, did this, and I thought it was a really good idea. So I'm going to do it too. So yeah, credit goes to her. I don't know if anyone else has done it, but she's the first person I know. So, yeah, now we are going to review and overview them. And I am going to show you each marker and how they all write. And I'm going to do them in the color order that I like them. So, yeah, we'll this get started. This is the order that I like these markers in. Pink, orange, green, yellow, two different blues, navy blue, dark blue, brown, red, green, and black. I will give you the names, and these names are not in order. These are just the names, and you'll find it on the back of the box. Mine kind of shows I'm not really going to show you. I'm just going to try and read it. But there's Blue Skies Blue, Deep Sea Blue, Fandango Pink, Forest Green, Hot Aqua, Key Lime, Playful Purple. I don't have a purple, do I? I'm missing a color. Hmm. I'm gonna go look for that and see if it fell or something. I don't know. I'm gonna count these. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So is this their purple? Yes, it is. Sorry guys. I thought it kinda looks like a dark blue, but it's really purple. Sorry. Got that. So I do have the purple. Rambunctious Red, Tuxedo Black, Woodsy Brown, Yellow Blaze, and yeah, the rest is in another language, so I'm not going to say that, because I don't know. Alright, so now that I have told you all the colors that come in the pack, we will begin this review. Literally, this time we'll actually... So, we are going to start with Fandango Pink. Because that is the first one that is my favorite. So I'll grab Fandango Pink. Open it up. I'm filming this with a phone, so it's kind of hard. I'm going to put this down. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I am going to draw some basic shapes with Fandango Pink. Pretty hard. They also fill in pretty nicely. And when we do drawing tutorials on our channel, Crafty Girls, we will make sure to give you some pointers and tips to use Bix and give tutorials with Bix. So, get your Bix at ShopRite or wherever, Staples, anywhere. Do a peace sign. Write some words. That's our little, little girl. Girls all love crafty girls. Okay, so now you might want to draw with these markers. So I'm going to draw a face. This is just a sketch, so don't 
judge. Oh my, this is really bad. I'm trying to get a gun for you guys. So they are nice markers to draw with. Really nice in my opinion, actually. She needs hair on the top of her head. At the end of this video, I will show you a more detailed um, drawing using all the big. But yeah, that's pink. I used a lot of the page in pink. I'm going to try and use everything on the same page. So now we're going to go with my next color, Sunset okay, Orange. So I have Sunset Orange all ready to go. And I'm going to start by drawing some basic shapes like I did before. Triangles, squares, rectangles. These make a nice face with a giant circle. And pumpkin thingy. It's a pumpkin. A little late for that. But now I'm going to draw a tiger. This is a shout out to our good friend at school who is lo like in love with tigers. Really bad tiger with peace sign in it. <laughs> I'll give it black eyes when I do my black later. Orange, so. And yeah. Heart. And that's all for the orange. And next we are going to be doing. I think it's key lime or forest green. Probably key lime, but I am not positive. So key lime or have forest. key lime or forest green ready to go. I'm going to draw some basic shapes again. Nice. And remember, I will show you a detailed picture at the end, but yeah. That's all for key lime or for Now I have green. yellow blaze ready, and I'm going to color this in a little bit. you want to draw a square with other colors inside of it I will do that for you and now we are done with yellow blaze so I just went ahead by accident because I thought I was recording but I wasn't and did hot aqua I think it's hot aqua or blue skies blue I am not sure but this is what the cap looks like really pretty and yeah that's all for Hot Aqua slash Blue Skies Blue. I went ahead again with either Blue Skies Blue or Hot Aqua, but it looks like this. I'm so sorry, guys. The camera just st keeps, like, stop keep stopping to record and stuff. And I'm not really sure why, but it does that, so I'm kind of upset with that. Whatever. So now I'm going to move on to... I think this is... Deep sea blue. And then after that, I'm going to do playful purple. So yeah, let's Okay, it finally worked. Deep sea blue did not, not record yet. So yeah, let's start with this one. Looks like a lot. That is deep sea blue. Now we are going to do playful purple. Heart, heart. My hearts are really bad right now. I 
They also do really nice bubble letters. This is just a random example of something. I couldn't think of anything. And that is all for Playful Next, Purple. Next, we are going to do Woodsy Brown. I think this is a nice one. And I'm going to give her some... Okay, that's not so long. It's going all over. What am I doing? I'm going to draw squiggly lines everywhere. Except for my tiger. That's all for Woody Brown. Woodsy, sorry. Next, we are going to be doing Rambunctious Red. So, for Rambunctious Red, I decided to do a ton of hearts because it's red. I know these aren't the newest markers and they've been around for a really long time, but I just really like them, so I wanted to do this for you. I've had them sitting in my room for a while now. I don't even know why. Just weird. And obviously really bad at hearts. Ugh. Okay. That is pretty much all for a rambunctious spread. But I keep continuing for some other reason. Rambunctious Red. That's all for that one. That's a weird smiley face. Okay, so when I saw this one, I was positive it was forest green. And that this one right here is key lime. Like, I just looked at it again and I was like, oh my god. I'm so stupid. This one is totally forest green. Yeah, so now this is forest green. I am not the best at G's. I mean G's, whatever. I get those confused a lot when I'm speaking, but maybe not when I'm writing or speaking. Okay, well, I get them confused when I spell, but not when I write. Crafty girl. Okay, so we have now come to our last marker, Tuxedo Black. And I'm going to start at my tiger, right about here. That was my foot against the wall, if you heard that, but not whatever you want to call it. And that is Tuxedo okay. Black. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you subscribe to Crafty Girls and love all of our videos. And remember to buy these Bic markers. They are super cool. They are not scented and they are permanent markers, if you wanted to know. They are not scented and they are not permanent markers. Subscribe and like Crafty Girls. Bye!